actually want to dive in now to the format itself of a 72 hour event and whether this is healthy uh it is definitely not i'm just gonna get out there and say that it is definitely not a healthy format and anyone that argues otherwise is um yeah completely bonkers so my overall thoughts are that i spent a lot of time preparing for this a lot of time you know really working hard working stuff out i put a lot of hours of graft in to come out completely empty-handed and then i thought about it a little bit and i thought you know what in a way at least i worked out by 12 o'clock on sunday that it wasn't for me so i got my sunday afternoon back before i had to go to work again um because really what what does coming top 100 achieve uh or even coming top 10 i suppose top 10 has an icon and a bit of bragging rights so i would have been very happy if i'd done that but it doesn't matter unless you come first in terms of qualification so maybe it was a blessing in disguise that i i tilted down and got a bit of time back for myself because mentally i needed it one thing i will say about this event is it destroys any level of sort of mental health or well-being that you've built up um and obviously when we're where we are right now in a covid crisis um you know it's it's hard to keep mentally sane as it is so when you've got something like this um prying on you as well then it's really hard and why why do i say this destroys your mental health i've touched on it a little bit but sleeping is a good thing you know i really recommend everyone gets their eight hours of sleep i definitely aim for eight hours of sleep most nights and i achieve it but um you don't when you're doing an event like this because the way the event is laid out with just 72 hours to amass as many points as you can it promotes it actively promotes and anyone that says otherwise is wrong it promotes at least reducing your sleep so you can play more games um or some people i know some people playing up to 800 games aren't even sleeping at all that is so bad for you and even though i've done it myself please um you know do as i say not as i do don't for yeah don't don't do that to yourself um don't don't avoid sleep I, there's even an argument that you know and i think this is true to an extent because of the micro decisions you have to make um sleeping really poorly does influence how you play the game um you'll start to get those decisions wrong you'll start to misplay and you know you're not gonna be able to do well but pe lots of people do do well without sleep and I think most people you talk to definitely if they maybe they sleep somewhat and i did still sleep somewhat but they certainly hurt their sleep to do this though instead of sleeping the normal eight hours they'll sleep four hours or five hours and yeah you know this was nearly a week ago now and i still feel the effects of not having had a proper weekend sleep so my biggest thing is that this is really unhelpful for sleep and that's not good and that is my my main takeaway and something i knew beforehand something i kind of ignored but something that i have to i don't know um i'm not that old i'm 24 but like <laughs> it, when i was doing this three years ago i could sort of bounce it off for even just being 24 i can feel i can feel my body being like why are you still doing this to yourself uh so yeah please don't please just look after yourself and and don't sign on to an event like this where you have to win to achieve anything um other than kudos and a bit of bragging rights and you know what that's that's great and i wanted that else i wouldn't have done this uh and i haven't got it but i don't know if it's worth you know the sanity or the sleep loss or the, the detrimental effects that has on your health um yeah as the oh so famous victor lee says um sleeping from about no, going without sleep for three days can give you a heart attack, Lambo pal. So, um, yeah, just just watch out for yourselves. And my other overall thoughts, avoiding sleep, just talking about the game for a second, is that the meta is pretty hard to understand. I, I can't understand why in the same meta my deck did so well day one and not day two or day three. And like I said, sleep could be a part of it. Sorry, I said I wouldn't mention that. But um, I don't think I was playing that much worse certainly not worse that I would stop climbing at all from climbing as high as I did in the first day. Um, I it's I don't know why it's harder to climb on day two or day three. Um, maybe it's because stuff settles down a little bit more in terms of everyone's happy with their decks. But it, it is tough anyway. It was it was tough from the, the second and third day to 
work out what I was doing wrong, but clearly it was something because I started from 14th and I dropped all the way to below 500. Um, and I'd like to think it's not just because I'm a bad player, because um, for those that don't know, I, I finished second in the most recent Worlds. So um, yeah, I, I don't think I've got that bad in a few months. So there's got to be something else going on that I just don't understand. Um, so I'm doing all this moaning now. You you must ask yourself, why why did I play the, the KC Cup? So basically, like I said, I, I just came second in the world um, at Duel Links a few months ago, and I decided I wanted to get into streaming. Um, and yeah, please go follow me at Kano King on Twitch. Uh, I stream once or twice a week, every week, and then sometimes do bonus streams on top of that. But I don't know how to phrase this. I, I in my head, thought that just finishing second wasn't enough. Um, that to prove that I'm a worthwhile streamer to follow, I had to do something else impressive. And that's why I wanted that top 10 finish so I can be like, listen to this guy. He knows what he's talking about. And I think I'm just gonna have to accept that I, I didn't achieve that. So you're just gonna have to take my word that I, I vaguely know what I'm talking about in this game. Um, because I haven't got the results to back it up this time. Um, so yeah, that was sort of my main motivation for playing. I wanted I wanted to prove to people that I was worthwhile listening to and I thought a good result would do that. Now, is that worth giving up a weekend for? I think you could argue no. I think maybe because we're in a national lockdown in England at the moment anyway, uh, I sort of thought, what else would I be doing this weekend? But yeah, don't don't necessarily recommend um, it was a good reason to play this um, so hard. But yeah, that's why I did it. And I thought there was an outside chance that I could have won if everything went right. You know, if you've come second in the world, then it must be possible to come first. You're only, it's only one game away from winning the world. So why couldn't I finish first globe if everything went well for me? Obviously, I got nowhere near. And even at my highest, I was still quite far away. I was still sort of 10 wins away from the top. So maybe I have to accept that this is a format where I can't do that. But yeah, the way that KC Cups work is one person qualifies to go for the Worlds. There is a once a year event called an RRQ, um, which is like a regional representative qualifier where three people from some regions, two from others and one from a few qualify for Worlds as well. Now, that event is different. That makes it, it's still hard to qualify, but it's easier, you know. Um, it's possible to go for the Worlds that route and it's not just one winner takes all. So I would play that again. Um, Will I play a Casey Cup like this again, where just one person takes all? No, no, I won't. I, I have to put my foot down on myself this time and say that I negatively affected my health and my life generally playing this. And I don't, I don't want to do that again unless there's a better chance of qualifying for the next round of Worlds. Um, I will say that I'm quite slightly upset that I've not already qualified for Worlds next year because I came second at Worlds and they promised the winner of Worlds that they could be invited to Worlds next year. Basically, that person, Zaid King, um, has already got an invite to Worlds, but they wouldn't pass the spot down to me. So that is my gripe with, with you, Konami, if you're watching. Um, I don't quite understand that decision. Um, but yeah, because I, I would like to go again, I, I will play the regional representative qualifier, but um, I'm not playing a KC Cup again because there's no... I can't see the point uh, because I don't think I'm good enough to win one outright, I, and I don't... Even if I was, I don't know if I want to put my body through the amount of hell that I put, just put it through. Um, and I think for my own sanity, I am going to be stepping away from them. As long as they're in this 72-hour format, just play as many as you can, win as many as you can. Um, and that is my that is my view on it. So I don't think the system is entirely defunct. I think that definitely good players do well in it because some of the best players like negative one like Grucius consistently perform well so there is definitely an art to it and they are I know good players so it's good that this format does find good players but there has to be a healthier way to do it than having so many people give up their weekend you know because that just omits so many people that have, you know they're in, aren't in the position to just throw away an entire weekend like people with children for example you know like they can't just ignore a child for the entire weekend I yeah, it's there's there's always there's always a problem, and even people at work Fridays are at a disadvantage. You know, I lost seven hours of seven and a half hours of time because I had to work, 
Um, so yeah, I, I think they've got to change the format. Uh, I'm not saying I think they will. I, I, I don't think they're going to anytime soon, but I think they have to to help everyone out and to, to promote healthier lifestyles and a healthier game. I think they have to change this. Now, the obvious way to change it would be putting a cap on how many games you can play a day. Um, something like 100 is still a lot of games, but like considering it's a, a big global event, like I think Worlds, I think asking people to play 100 games a day is reasonable. Um, and, you know, it would uh, people are playing 800 and 900. Maybe 75 is right, I don't know. But the, the, a cap would be a start it would be a start you know like you'd find and then not everyone would have to play the entire cap to win because you don't just by playing more you don't always win it's just that when you start playing a lot more then you know your win rates can be narrower and narrower and you still do well um 300 games i think the person that people that would be qualifying would be better i also think that generally doing these big events where only one person qualifies is a bit of a, a a scam anyway uh, I think more qualification spots or it, it maybe even top 10 qualify for the next stage or something like that I think that works a lot better um, the KCGT which is what I ended and came second in they gave something to the top 100 they all qualified to the next stage I think more people than one have to qualify per event I just I don't think that's that much to ask the you know the people that put all their time and effort in and do really well at this event have something to show for it instead of just an icon or a map um i think yeah more than one person should be qualifying maybe not to worlds directly but at least the next stage of qualifying where they can they can work out what they want to do from there uh so yeah game caps one like i said maybe in instead of game caps there could be a caps on after you've lost 10 times you've done for the day or they could just run better qualifiers before this event so less people are in it in the first place so they could run a tournament style thing now that would probably involve them putting a button in for who goes first and who goes second i've heard that's in the coding but personally i think that's going to be something that we're waiting for for a long time uh so yeah uh, uh, you know it's not my job to work out the future the future changes as a player i feel like i have a decent insight into what i think they should be but i you know i don't want to suggest anything outright i just think that konami please just consider helping people out and making this game better uh, by making your premier event um healthier and that's that's my ask and that's kind of the end of this video um thanks for listening to my rant slash general overview of my performance but yeah in, in conclusion it didn't go well for me um i don't necessarily think that means i'm terrible um because I know lots of other good players that you know, didn't do this, and I think that the format is flawed, even if some good players do consistently do well. I hope the Konami changes its game. Um, I personally won't play a KC Cup while the format remains like this, because my health is more important than doing well in this game, and I think this event helped me realise that, and I hope more people come to that realisation too. So thanks very much.